trying to see who can do more. Pull ups? Yeah. <laughs> Well, I don't know, it looks like you did. Oh, again, I'm lighter, who knows? Right. Yeah, let's go. Good morning, guys. Hope you're well. I'm feeling pretty tired today, not gonna lie. Uh, I quit coffee like two to three weeks ago, and the first few days were pretty rough, but now I feel quite good. You know, I don't have the crazy high energy levels, but I don't have the crazy low energy levels either. However, yesterday, I didn't eat that much food, maybe 2,000, 2,200 calories because I'm watching this workout content back and I'm like, damn, I need to get leaner, all right? So I didn't eat that much food yesterday, obviously a lot of hard training. I wake up this morning, I'm just like, I'm lacking power, I'm lacking oomph. Right now, a coffee will be absolutely perfect, but I'm not gonna do the coffee. I'm gonna have something way worse, boom. Pre-workout, <laughs> I've had this tub for ages because I rarely have it, to be honest, because there's 275 milligrams of caffeine in a full scoop. Now I'm probably not gonna have a full scoop, I'll maybe just have, maybe like half or three quarters, but it's safe to say that Hamza does not stand a chance today. You've done this before? So you want to rest it, rest the bar in here. Yeah. Wide stance, you want your elbows to come in between your knees. Yeah. Right? Right. Oh, it's good, man. Really good. It's like a full body stretch. Yeah. It's such a deadlift. So you want to make sure your hips are coming up first and then your upper body. It's almost like two movements. Yeah? And then hips down first, though. Yeah. Squat down uh, first. No, I think it's the opposite way coming down. Yeah, 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 yeah like that. Hips yeah. up. Yeah, nice. And then uh, bend forward. Yeah. So there, forward first. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Good. Oh. <laughs> nice. <sighs> Good. Ooh. You good? <laughs> yes, I'm out. Awesome. Good. So whenever you're performing an exercise for the first time or the first few times, you don't want to be going to like max reps or anything like that. You just want to make sure that you're doing a lighter weight and the form is good. And once you've got the form down and you understand how to perform yeah, the exercise, good, yeah. then you can start adding weights yeah. on. New exercise. Otherwise, I haven't you don't done, like, the like your eyes very pretty. Oh, okay, okay. What? Normal color is brown. Your usual color. Oh, black. Yeah, like mine. Yeah, okay. But you wear uh, blue. Yeah, this, this is green, okay, yeah. Yeah, because yeah, it's mixed with the black. <laughs> uh, yeah, like this. See, I've never done this one before. It's a very, very strange exercise. Yeah, because usually, usually you do like this, like, like this deadlift, you know. But this time we, we put it here. 
Ah, no, eso. Walk me through the, the form, yeah. 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 When you're done, put so, back, so coming back, down, back first. You, no, yeah, your upper body goes first. Yeah. Uh, bend over. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Down. All the way down. And then you come up with your hips and then drag it up. Yeah, like that. It's such a primal movement. Yeah, good. Nice. Big back. Come on, mate. Easy. Nice one, you're done. Ah. Put everything back to the plate. Nice. You have hand grab up to this. Yeah. Trying to see if you can do more. Pull ups? Yeah. <laughs> Cool. I don't know, it looks like you can. Oh, I'm getting a lot of who knows. Right. Yeah, let's go. Yeah, let's go. Okay, good follow up here. Competition. Okay, let's go. Three. Let's go. Nice. Good 15. job, guys. 16. Oh, the 16. Rock, down, 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 and down. The winner will get a protein shake from me. Okay? One. Count your breath, count your round. Yeah, okay, nice. Get the protein shake from me. That's right. I'm eager. Good job, guys. No, I got 18. Four. Nice one. Nice. Nice one, good form, very good form. Yep. Nice four. <clears throat> nice one. Best drink okay. in the world. We got three so bottles here. I see your two again. Let's begin. Big big big. Stroll the line. Easy. Come on. Oh. Oh, I've just had a new guy join the coaching team and he's he struggles with gym anxiety you know if you've never been in a gym before yeah. and then actually to go there it feels like pretty daunting yeah what sort of advice would you give to someone struggling with gym anxiety yeah there's usually two reasons why someone's anxious in the gym it's either the social like other people judging you yeah or it's just like the anxiety of actually using the equipment not knowing how to use it safely and what if you're doing something wrong with their tickets. So with the social life, then it's just social skills. It's walking in with charisma, maybe speak to the receptionist a little bit, warm up, fist bump the big guy, give him a compliment. And when you're in the middle of social flow, then you don't really overthink thinking that someone's like judging you. It's the only reason when you think people are judging you is when you're in like a reserved shell. Yeah. Like if you're in a social flow, like I was with that guy, for those five minutes, there's no way I'm thinking that anyone's like thinking about me or any, because I'm in like just a nice, happy human mood. Yeah. And so people who aren't in that, who go in the gym with their headphones on, hoodie on, not speaking to anyone. Well, yeah, it's so unnatural. It's not, it's not normal to be around other people. 
and not acknowledge them. So a lot of people have gym, like weird gym culture. You gotta walk in, speak to this guy, smile at this guy, smile like in you know, a wave at this girl. And you feel like you're a part of the community. Like we've been here five, 10 minutes and I've already spoke to like two, three guys. Yeah. So I don't feel like anyone's like judging me in any way. Uh -huh. That's like the social judgment. And if anyone's like a complete beginner and they don't know how to safely use the equipment, what workout routine, is it safe? Am I using it right? A lot of that's just based on knowledge, which you just need to get education. So yeah. you get advice from you, you check up online, workout routine, how to bench press, okay, this form, whatever. And it's yeah. the same as like going into martial arts. The only guy who actually gets criticized is the one who's got ego and arrogance. Yeah. But if you come in like a complete beginner, you're, you've got shit form, whatever, but you're smiling, you're asking people, oh, what did I do wrong? What should I improve on? Should my foot be like this? Yeah. No one's judging. Everyone finds that wholesome as fuck. Yeah, yeah. So as long as you bring like good, happy energy, and you're curious and you're a student, nothing to be anxious of. Good advice. All right, let's do another set. Nice, come back a bit, come back a bit. I'm out, bro. Whew. All right, that's set three, yeah? That's the three, don't you? Okay, last set. I haven't ate enough recently, bro. I'm only getting like five, six reps on this. Yeah. It's not really about the number, though. It doesn't matter. Yeah. <sighs> Sorry? Dancing. Mm. No idea. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> mm. <sighs> 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 Oh God. So I can remember the first time I went to the gym. I was 14 years old. It was my 14th birthday. I couldn't go to the gym before I was 14 because they didn't allow you. That was their rule. So on my 14th birthday, I go to the gym and I go in the changing rooms and there's this big, massive guy, obviously huge compared to what I was then. Huge guy in the changing rooms. I was just like, I was kind of like a little bit shook up and nervous. And I was like, kind of just sat in the changing rooms for a minute. I didn't know what to do. Anyway, I just went in the gym and the free weights, I had no clue like what to do. I'd never lifted a free weight in my life. So I just went on the treadmill because, you know, I know how to use a treadmill, it's just running. And that felt kind of familiar. And then eventually I progressed from the treadmill and then I started doing the machine weights. And then eventually after I'd been there a few times and got used to the gym and kind of felt more comfortable, then I would watch people on the free weights and then I would just copy the exercises that they did. Now I would not recommend this at all. I would actually recommend watching YouTube videos, studying or hiring a coach and actually learning how to perform the exercises correctly. And if you've never been in the gym before, step number one will be just go to the gym, just drive to the car park and sit in the car park. You're gonna get to the car park and then you, you'll, you'll say to yourself, well, I'm here now, I may as well just go and have a look in the gym. Go have a look in the gym, ask to have, get walked around by a reception, reception will show you around the gym so you know where all the different areas are. And then day one, if you just make it to the gym and then you just do 10 minutes on the treadmill, and that's good. Then maybe day two, you just do 20 minutes on the treadmill. And then day three, you progress to doing some of the machines. And then after like one or two weeks, you'll have zero gym anxiety. It'll just feel like a normal thing that you do. Ah. No. 
no smiling allowed mid set. If you can smile, it's not a hard enough set. <laughs> so what I like to do when I'm starting something new and I have like anxiety is I just want to make it as easy as possible because anxiety just comes around when you're overthinking it and you're thinking too much and all you need to do is just start and don't worry about being good at the beginning. It's a bit like making these videos. At the start of making these videos, they're not going to be very good, but I don't get good until I actually start. A big mistake a lot of people make is waiting until they feel ready, but you never feel ready to go to the gym until you've actually been to the gym. You never feel ready to start a business until you've started the business. You never feel ready to make videos until you start making videos. And it's only once you start, then you can each day, each week, gradually improve and get better and better. And eventually, after a short period of time of like doing something every day, maybe it's one month, two months, that anxiety just completely goes away. Big back. It's that monster back. Jeez. Is that a gorilla? Could be. Good. Get these biceps popping too. One, two. Yeah, One. come on. Come on, man. Good. Nice. Just one set, yeah? Yeah, that'll do. Just for our friends. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> it's not, yeah, no, no. Yeah, don't worry. It's just a hobby. Yeah. One day, maybe, if we get famous. It's hard to predict today, right? Yeah, it is. <laughs> That's all right. Huh. <sighs> 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 
Oh. Hamzer is up to his usual tricks. Go on, son. Do you reckon he's got a chance? Did you get the IG? Oh, Mish. <laughs> she got a husband. <laughs> okay, okay, I'll let you off. That's what she told you, yeah? Yeah, I know. Now you go ask. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no, I'm single. <laughs> How many followers do you have? Oh. <laughs> wow, famous. <laughs> no. That's a green flag. <laughs> So I have a problem with my bike. The front wheel is shaking. Yeah. Do you know anyone? A friend? Your is that your driver? Okay, so having to get... Go Jet. Swarmer. What have you got? Uh, beetroot feta salad with chicken. Oof, that's good. And some pickles. Don't forget your pickles, guys. 